So now we know that the world will move on, but let's talk about practical solutions to things that you can do as an artist to help your work stand out. The technique that's been proven to work best is specialization. Focus on your favorite niche and hit that consistently. So when anyone thinks of this genre, they already know who to go for to see it best. And consistency is really the key here. Nobody wants to subscribe to a channel when they see the last video was uploaded six months ago. You gotta keep it consistent. It doesn't have to be every day, but every week you should be posting something. When you are trying to grow a following, you have to stop thinking about this from the perspective of an artist. And you have to start thinking about it from the perspective of the viewer. Ask yourself, what kind of people do you like to follow? And really think about why you actually follow them. If you're not really sure what I'm talking about, let's try use a different example. I like to play video games, and one of those games is Super Smash Bros. I've played Smash since the first one came out in 1999, and it's still one of the games that sometimes I'll compete in today. Now one of the characters that I love to use is Falco, and when I'm trying to improve my gameplay, something I found I like to do is watch other, better Falco players play in big major tournaments. So naturally, I subscribe and watch videos from the best Falco players in the world. One of them is Tilde, and every time I want to see juicy Falco content, I watch watch Tilde's videos, and the reason I latch onto his content so tightly is specifically because he is a Falco specialist. I am not interested in learning how to play Falco from someone who does not main Falco. I want to see the most dedicated best Falco in the world adapt and play through their worst matchups. Likewise, when Tilde doesn't play Falco, I don't really watch his videos. If he starts playing a character like Roy, I've noticed I kind of just don't even click. Because if I wanted to watch somebody play Roy, I would watch a player who specializes in Roy, like Cola. And this is kind of something I've noticed about myself when I'm deciding what content to watch next. If I want to see Donkey Kong gameplay, I watch the best DK in the world. If I want to see Incineroar gameplay, I watch the best Incineroar in the world. I do not watch people who jump around with random characters every week. And I've noticed that this kind of translates to other things in my life as well, like other YouTube channels. For example, another game that I like to play is Armored Core, and Glorious Geo is one of my favorite Armored Core channels. And every day I wake up, I'm excited to see what new Armored Core video he has uploaded. But when he posts videos about other games, which I don't really play, I've noticed that that I don't even really bother watching those videos because I'm really only here for Armored Core. Now let's bring this back to your art. This translates into genres. Now personally, there are lots of different genres that I like to follow, and one of them is Fantasy Angels. Anytime anybody asks me, hey, who's a good artist that does Fantasy Angels? Peter Morbacher is always the top of my recommend. But I've noticed that I only really check out his work when I'm looking for his Fantasy Angel style. Because when I'm in the mood to see something different, like Fantasy Horror, I don't really look at Peter Morbacher. Instead, I actually look at Zdlgumgneski because that guy was a surrealist horror specialist. And it's the same with 3D. There's a lot of 3D artists out there, but if you're talking about 3D anime Guilty Gear styled shading, everybody knows the names Ruki Kuri and Yuli because they deal in that art style exclusively and they're really good at it. And this concept applies to AI art as well. There's a lot of different styles out there, even within the AI art community. And they specialize in training different things. If I needed a hundred images of beautiful medieval fantasy women, I wouldn't go to the guy whose portfolio has nothing but sci-fi women. Think about it this way. I don't want someone who can make what I need. I want someone who only makes what I need, better than everyone else around them. For example, Reference Hub is my go-to for beautiful fantasy women art. Even within the AI artist community, his images stand out as being the most beautiful. This is his specialty, and every day I wake up, I am eagerly looking forward to see what new designs he's come up with. But he is not the guy that I would go to if I needed something more modern and stylistic. If I wanted something more artsy and stylized, I would work with someone like Iroh instead, who specializes in that kind of style. So figure out what your style is and hit it as hard as you can consistently. Ask yourself, why would someone follow me? Why would someone subscribe to me? What would someone who has subscribed to me yesterday look forward to seeing me post tomorrow? Figure it out and stick to it. What genre do you want to be associated with? What style do you want to be associated with? 
focus on that and you will naturally start to attract the attention of the people who love to consume that style. So just think about it. I'll leave a comment down below if you think you know what your style and genre is, or if you instead maybe need help figuring that out. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.